How's it going Eliminators? Today we'll be checking out what's known as a back tap spark plug thread chaser. These are used to repair the spark plug threads on a cylinder head on your outdoor power equipment. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So on the workbench in my vise here, I have an aluminum cylinder head. This is very common on a lot of lawnmowers and in the center of that cylinder head, there is your hole and your threads for your spark plug. Now, sometimes I get a lawnmower that comes into the shop where a customer has tried to remove and reinstall their spark plug and unfortunately they cross thread the spark plug. So instead of lining up the spark plug so that it threads in nicely, what they do is they misalign it when they go to tighten it up and then they crank it in there thinking that they got the spark plug tight and unfortunately they end up damaging the threads. And I will put a picture up on screen from a lawnmower that I got in recently. You can see here on the picture, the spark plug only went in so far because the spark plug was cross threaded. Now I just wanted to point out that this cylinder head here did not come off of the lawnmower that had the cross threaded spark plug. This is off of a Tecumseh lawnmower engine that I'm currently doing a head gasket replacement on, but I'm gonna be using it for today's demonstration. This however is a first fire spark plug that came out of my customer's engine and you guys can see where the spark plug threaded into. Now, unfortunately, when you cross thread a spark plug, you end up damaging the threads and there are some tools that you can use to go ahead and clean up and realign those threads. Now, the tools that you can use are what's known as spark plug thread chasers. And you may think that it looks similar to what's known as a tap. And a tap is something that goes into a hole to create threads. However, a spark plug thread chaser is only meant to clean and realign or reshape the threads that are already there. This is an M14 by 1.25, so it's a metric 14 millimeter thread, and the part number for this one is a 98145. Now, in the event that you do have a lawnmower that has had a cross-threaded spark plug, chances are, like I said, those front threads are gonna be damaged and it will look something like this up on screen. Unfortunately, that is what the threads look like on that lawnmower that came into the shop, but all is not lost. This tool here, basically you just thread it in like you would a spark plug into the cylinder head and you're going to keep turning it and allow that thread chaser to go through that cylinder head. Now, as well as this tool works, there are unfortunately some drawbacks. And one of those is as you thread this through and you chase those threads as it's called, we're removing the slightest amount of material and you're just basically cleaning up those threads. You're gonna notice that we are getting a little bit of material going inside of the combustion chamber. Now with a cylinder head that's been removed, obviously that's no big deal because all of that debris is not going to be going inside of your cylinder. And I'll try to get a nice shot. You guys can see what a great job it does at cleaning out those threads. So it will remove grease and oil and any kind of dirt and debris, as well as reform and realign any threads that are bent. However, that comes to the second drawback of using that tool. If you don't wanna to have to take the cylinder head off of your engine and you end up having damaged threads like you see in that picture there, Using this tool becomes incredibly difficult because the threads that are damaged are at the front and that is usually where this tool is going. You're trying to thread it into the spark plug hole right there. So those damaged threads don't allow you to properly align this spark plug thread chaser. So what ends up happening is as you try to tighten it up, it ends up going off on an angle and it becomes incredibly difficult to get a good clean fix using one of these but I was able to do it. It's not impossible, it just takes a little bit of time. Now, one of the things I would recommend is using some grease on the tip of this when you are trying to chase threads. It will make the job a lot easier. You won't be damaging anything because you know if this job is done improperly, you can end up doing more damage and that's not good. So like I said, while there are some drawbacks to using this type of spark plug thread chaser, uh, it does work and it is quite inexpensive and it is a good tool to have. However, there is a superior design to this product here, 
and that is going to be what we have in front of us today. This right here is what's known as a back tap spark plug thread chaser, and it is in every way superior to this guy right here. So in front of me today, I have the power built part number 640811 back tap spark plug thread chaser. So starting with the size, because you can get these in different sizes, this is still an M14 by 1.25. So it's a 14 millimeter thread, it's very common. They also sell this in a 12 millimeter thread as well. So you can do spark plugs that are a little bit smaller. I went ahead and picked this up from Amazon for about $34 Canadian. And I'm gonna show you just how awesome this thing works. So how these tools work is essentially the same. They both have the 14 millimeter thread chasers at the top there, except this one is a solid design. And this right here is what's known as an expandable design. So you guys are gonna notice that the top of this here has all kinds of cutouts. And what that does is it allows those threads to expand using this bar system that they have here. So what we're gonna do is you take this guy right here, coming over to our cylinder head, and with it in the collapsed position, I'm just gonna show you guys how simple this works. You put that right through your spark plug hole. You would wanna have your flywheel rotated to the point where your piston is at bottom dead center, the furthest point away from the cylinder head. Now, once you have that thread chaser inserted into the cylinder, you're going to come down to this knurled end here and you're going to tighten up on that fitting while holding the spark plug thread chaser outer housing. Now, as you tighten up on that end fitting there, you guys are gonna notice that the threads start to expand because as you tighten that up, it pulls that tapered head back into the threads and that's what expands the threads there. So you guys can see where we're going here. This is a thread chaser that works from the inside out. So once you get that tightened down to the point where that end fitting is in the fully seated position, your threads will be fully expanded and they will be 14 millimeter. At that point, you are going to take the thread chaser here and seat it back into the cylinder head. And then you are going to rotate from the front looking forwards counterclockwise. And as you guys already can see, the reason why it's a superior design is it's because it works from the inside out and it's using the threads at the back that are still in good condition to center up your back tap thread chaser so that you're lined up. Because as I had mentioned, generally whenever someone cross threads a spark plug, you mangle the threads at the front of the cylinder head. And again, it makes using this type of tool incredibly hard. Like I said, you're going into damaged threads. So lining this up becomes very difficult. So in the picture that you see up on screen, you can see that the front threads are very damaged, but the rear threads are perfectly fine. So that allows us to perfectly line up our back tap thread chaser. And you're going to be just reforming and reshaping those threads as you rotate this counterclockwise to remove it just like you would remove a regular spark plug. And then additionally, because we're working from the inside going out, you're going to be pulling any bits of debris from those threads that you're reshaping to the outside of the cylinder head instead of back into your combustion chamber, which is not ideal and you wanna to try to prevent. Now, because the threads on this cylinder head were not damaged, I can just back this off by hand. However, if you are doing this on a cylinder head that does have some damaged threads, I would highly recommend getting a small crescent wrench adjustable wrench that will allow you to rotate this a little bit easier. But if you guys are using these spark plug thread chasers, I would again highly recommend using a little bit of grease. I didn't use any here today because the cylinder head that I have for today's demonstration, the threads are not damaged. And as you guys could see, these just threaded in and out by hand. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a scrap cylinder head and uh, this came off of an engine that I'm doing a head gasket replacement on, so I can't just go ahead and mangle up the threads on this one. Unfortunately, when I did the repair on that other one that I'm showing you the 
the pictures from. Uh, I didn't have this tool at the time, and that is actually what led me to go out and buy this tool. I think it was like $34 Canadian, and I'm definitely going to be using that tool in the future because, like I said, it's just far superior. But like I said, using this old style spark plug thread chaser, it still works. It did take me a little while to get it aligned properly, but once I aligned it, I went ahead and chased those threads and I was able to install a BPR6ES spark plug and thread it all the way down into the seated position, as you guys can see there, and that lawnmower ended up running just fine. However, with that being said, not all engines take the same spark plug. With these BR2LM plugs here, you guys are gonna notice that there's not a lot of threads to begin with. So in the event that you have something like a BR2LM or RJ19LM inside of a cylinder head that has shorter threads that are completely mangled, and you cannot use spark plug thread chasers to clean them out. You can use something else to repair those threads entirely. And if you guys are familiar with small engine repair, then you've probably heard of what's known as a helicoil kit. And that is these little guys right here. They are essentially little inserts that go inside of the cylinder head. And then they have new threads on the inside for your spark plug. And this tool right here is actually out of my helicoil repair kit. So like I said, it does have the 14 millimeter threads at the top there, but then you're gonna notice that it has this tapered cutting edge. And what that does is it starts to bore a larger hole into your damaged cylinder head. And then it recuts a larger thread, which is the same thread as what's on the outside of these inserts. And then what you do is you take some red thread locker, you apply it to the outside of those inserts and you thread that insert into your cylinder. Once you get those inserts threaded in, they do have these little teeth right at the end there and that's what's gonna hold it into the cylinder as well as that red thread locker. Ideally, you wanna let that cure for approximately 24 hours before putting heat to it and then you can go ahead and install a new spark plug. They may not be as strong as the original spark plug threads but sometimes there's no choice but to use a helicoil kit because a replacement cylinder head can sometimes be very costly. And this is generally known as an inexpensive method for fixing that. Now, like I had mentioned, that thread chaser did come with the helicoil kit. So if you guys wanna buy that, I'll put the part number up on screen. It's made by OEM Tools and the part number is a 25647. Additionally, I did wanna point out that the threads on that spark plug thread chaser there, they're not very deep. So it does work good for cleaning up the front threads of something that takes a longer spark plug. However, if you need something that's a little bit longer to clean up the entire length of threads, you guys can pick up one of these. This one here is made by Napa Service Tools and the sizes are 14 millimeter and a larger 18 millimeter. You can additionally purchase these in 14 and 12 millimeter, which would be ideal for working on small engines and chainsaws. And as you guys can see here, the threads on this one are a little bit longer, so it would work better to go ahead and clean up the full length of threads on an engine that took a longer spark plug. The only thing you guys are gonna have to remember here is this one's a little bit bulkier, so you do need a deep socket to go ahead and turn that, whereas this one here, you can just turn by a wrench as well as this one here. If you guys did wanna get the OEM tools version of this, the part number for this one here is a 25124. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Like I had mentioned, I wish I had that back tap thread chaser when I was doing the initial repair on that Cub Cadet and I would have filmed the video then, but I had no idea that it existed. And when I was using that you know, old school thread chaser that goes from the outside in and I found myself struggling to properly align it due to those damaged threads, that is what prompted me to go online and start doing some research to find a better way. And that back tap spark plug thread chaser 100% is what I'm going to be using from now on. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check the channel out for new content. And as always guys, thanks for watching.